in college football. I was so bullish that Texas A&M with Max Johnson could be the best team in the SEC West because of the defense. I, I was all in on them. Their season, again, on October 15th is done. Over. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we, we've reached this fork of the road quite a few times, uh, and it's the Jimbo Fisher question. And I and I, I was led to believe a couple of weeks ago being in College Station, things were fine. Even after the Alabama game, I was on the set with my favorite Heisman Trophy winner telling me, you can't blame Texas A&M for that loss. That was Alabama stepping up. A&M played really well. <laughs> and then we saw yesterday in Knoxville against a team that is not elite, Matt. Tennessee, uh, I mean, give Josh Heifel credit, the high-flying, high-team coach, and defense won that game. Yeah. Yeah, and then we and look, that sets up Tennessee and Alabama because you're thinking, well, Alabama does just enough to win. They let Arkansas hang around, and that's just who it – when you really look at it, Paul, and you dissect it big picture, that's kind of what it is this year in the SEC. I can't think of one team that's just going to – choke you to death I, put it let me put it this way i don't think there is one team in the sec that isn't capable of losing on a saturday oh there's no question and you know not to obsess over alabama but you know on consecutive weeks against i guess on uh under yeah unranked teams they, they won by six and by three um and Nick Saban seems pretty happy uh, because uh, he he knows he knows his cap this his team is capable of giving it away. I mean, he he has now finally reached that part of the season. Uh, everybody's talking about the five game winning streak. Uh, I'm still you know Ole Miss might be the only impressive win of the five. Yeah.